Oh my fucking god! Okay. Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is what the fuck he popping up? This is a space, and why the fuck does this keep popping up? What's up YouTube, this is Ace of Spades, my video keeps getting messed up right now, so I'm probably going to make a new one after this one, and um, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit, I can see like, um, the video effects, I don't know if anybody can see the video effects, but like, I think they can, um, that's fine by me, because it's like, hold on, something else just popped up. Barry's dying. Um, today I'm gonna talk about what I did today and about um how my um job been going at Shaw White and ACCC and why I have not been making a lot of videos lately. That's because I've been very busy. And the hell is that? And um with my family, spend some time with my family a lot. Um, my job, I've been working like crazy, like really crazy. So I've been busy a lot. I said that like for the tenth time. <laughs> um, my job at Shaw is doing pretty good, I'm making lots of money. Um, some of the people at Shaw White I liked, like um. You can't trust a lot of people at a place because they spread rumors and gossip about a bunch of stuff that ain't true. Or is true, and one person finds out about that, then everybody's gonna know about it. And so that job's going okay. Um, some of the customers piss me off at that place because they leave a bunch of cards behind people's cars, and when they back up, it, they back up to the car and the car hits the guy's car <coughs> and they don't blame me but it still pisses me off when I see it and um something else it also pisses me off how they leave the carts in the parking lot there's a, cause there's a place where you put the carts at and or they could pull it up to the store but they don't they just leave them in the parking lot and every time I turn around, I get them out of the parking lot. And after they're all gone out of the parking lot, I see more as soon as I turn around in the parking lot. So I, I keep getting them, getting them, getting them. And they, they just leave them in the parking lot. Like, well, what the fuck? You can't put them up to the store where the other carts go? Because they don't, none of the customers care. They're like, it's too damn lazy to put them up to the store. And, um,. That pisses me off. I ain't say nothing to the customers. Um, this the other night, like I think like last weekend on Sunday, I was going to the store and putting the cards out to the store on the white side because the white side of the store and there's a the left side where you put the cards at. I was coming, I was going to the white side, and it's like two minutes before I left. I mean before I leave, and um, I was walking behind this guy's car, and he's backing up. And I had enough room to move, so I told him to stop, stop, stop. And he didn't hear me, and he hit me, and he hit the cards. Like he he hit me, but he hit the cards, and the cards smacked against my leg. And I stopped. I said to myself, "What a fucking idiot!" So I went to his windshield. That's was about to say something to him. He looked at me. He drove off, parked in the parking lot, shot my parking lot sat there like five minutes and drove off again and me and going to the store so I told five people and I left they says cause damage I said I don't know and they, they asked, said yeah I mean they asked me 
well you okay and I said yeah I'm fine and um, next day I told my bosses and they said they asked me the same question so I said yeah I'm fine the calls are not damaged and I told us okay and they said did they get on the camera and I said no I don't know they probably did but I don't know what they're gonna do about it I don't know if they're gonna call the cops next time the guy comes to the store I, I don't know I don't know um so yeah crazy people don't know how to drive no more that's what happens you always gotta pay attention to what's going on around you if you don't you could end up like dead or like hurt real bad because people just don't know how to drive no more so how you sound like it? and um today this video right now how you stop hey my dog keeps licking to get in my nose went to the tobacco shop today and I picked up myself. I don't know. Yeah, hold on. Uh, it's that good stuff. But hold on. There we go. Lancaster. Chew. Hold on. There we go. Lanch <coughs> Lancaster. Chew. And I got this in a box. Eight dollars because there's two that came in the box. It's limited edition, but they're still selling it. Um, it's one of my favorite chews. I love how it tastes because it tastes like cream in your mouth. And um, when I swallow it, like if I swallow it by accident, it don't taste that bad. And um, it's pretty good. I would say the flavor, the flavor probably lasts that long. I don't know because I never had it in my mouth for that long. And um. Only thing I hate about you is how it gets stuck in your teeth and you can't get it out of your teeth, or how it makes your tunnel brown and you got still got the taste in your mouth even if you got it out of your mouth. So that's like the only thing I hate about it. Um, I know the smell it smells pretty nasty, but the chew tastes fine. It says on the back of the packet it says Lancaster chew tobacco is made from the best. Tobacco's time and money can produce. Tobacco's grown specially from full chewing, hand picked and hand cleaned to remove stems and then aged and cold for satisfying, satisfying long lasting full tobacco taste. The attention to detail, the attention to detail that goes into Lancaster chewing tobacco allows us to guarantee it to be moist and have Felt fewer stems that than any other chewing tobacco you can buy or your money back. The Lancaster blend is simply the best that time and commitment to accent and can produce. So, um, it's saying that I don't have it's pretty good, that's what it's saying, and I don't have a lot, a lot of stems in the pack, obviously, because I just read it. And the course it has the warning label and it has this part warning, this part that can cause mouth cancer. It's not like I give a shit. It's like I don't, it's not like I don't know it's going to give me mouth cancer. I already know that. I've been chewing and dipping for like three and a half years now. Now three years now. And there's nothing wrong with my mouth. I did not lose no teeth. And I had no systems of mouth cancer or throat cancer. So I'm fine. Only side effects I have is buzz. If I put a lot in my mouth of like grizzly, Kodiak, or like skull extra. And um, if I throw up, if I swallow it, that's the only things that happen. That I, that happens to me. That's about it. So right now I'm gonna put some of this in my mouth. While I'm still talking to everybody, just give me a minute to find my cup. Um, I'm recording off my PC, my mom's PC again. The videos work again because I had to fix the problem. Because every time <coughs> I made a video, it was si show my face on the left. No, not the left. Yeah, the left hand side of the screen. Like, probably like, I don't know, like this big. You could still see me, but it was just annoying. This is full size, so that's fine. 
and I fixed it because every time I would get out of it and go back it, it would just stop recording and would just be a blank screen not recording at all so it's recording again that's good it says I got like 15 minutes in this video on my way 10 minutes in and I know people say I sound funny I have a speech problem problem I don't it's just the way I sound on the computer or my iPod that's why I don't like talk video camera I mean video recording myself a lot because I sound funny and all the people that say like oh you retarded for the shit you do you're gonna die you know I don't do the stuff like I don't eat chewing tobacco or I don't drink my piss and dip spit or set my face on fire to try to kill myself I do it to entertain everybody and I'm like I'm crazy like I do all this crazy shit like for most of my life since I was a little kid like since I've been growing up I do crazy shit and um I appreciate everybody like people in Oakcrest High School I know or don't know talking about my videos thanks for everybody for letting the world out about me and my channel and my videos I appreciate it I know the Cedar Creek kids talk about it too so thanks everybody about that talk about my channels and videos um and thanks for the views I got like a thousand one thousand seven hundred and nine views on my on this channel and I got one thousand six hundred and nine views on my Ace of Spades 7658 channel and I said thanks everybody for watching my videos I only got like 25 subscribe no 22 subscribers but well, I'm probably gonna get more hopefully subscribe and um comment below i would appreciate it stop looking susie i can't stand him in my dog's leg like it's so annoying and like for well, everybody that like is watching this channel video right now and like they're not a dimple or they don't chew <coughs> pretty much i'm gonna give like a few ch few tips on how you dip or chew right now I'm gonna tell everybody how to chew because that's what I got in my hand right now now I feel like taking out my um, dip so um, this is chew you usually find it in bags not in cans and um, it could be sold at gas stations or like Wawa's, 7-Elevens, Walmart, pretty much anywhere you can find it pretty much anywhere you can find it and my well down where I live at I live in Selwyn New Jersey or South New Jersey and um down where I live at you could buy it like two for five or like eight up to eight dollars it depends what kind you get and um dip you could buy like Timberwolves like two dollars and thirty nine cents Grizzlies like three dollars and like twenty seven cents Longhorns like two dollars. Um, skulls like five, sometimes four. Um, Copenhagen's like five. So like everything's pretty much cheap. I like I always got money to buy it. Like I just got my check today. I didn't feel like buying another log of Copenhagen, so I bought like two bags of Lancaster. I still got my other log of Camp Copenhagen sitting behind me right now. So I'm fine like for the rest of the week. And um I'm just gonna put this in. This is how you you could take as much as you want. And, um I don't know you guys can get a um good look at it, but like it's shredded like leaves or flowers like. And um it has like a bunch of stems in it. This one's supposed not to, but I found like five in this pack already. And um Smell it or smell it. it smells like blazons so I don't know what it smells like but like it's sticking in your mouth and like chew it. What do I do? I don't wanna get like I don't wanna swallow it when I'm talking. So I put it on the side of my lip or my cheek. I like to start chewing it and put it on my side of my lip and my cheek again. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just chew in the spit. But like, that's what I do, so. 
and um, how you dip. This is dip. I'm just gonna show you by what dip is. This is dip. No, man, it's upside down. Fuck, fuck. Okay. Oh no, yeah, there we go. Copenhagen whiskey bun is my favorite one. This is dip. It usually looks like this. Fuck, I can't. I don't know anybody can see. I only get my mom's laptop. But shove it, shove the tobacco, and you can finally get a long cut, a fine cut. And um, you just take a pinch and pull in your lip, and you just let it sit there and just spit. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to chew it. Just spit. And you should pack it. You wanna, you gotta pack it. Like if you um. Pack it like this. Uh, you can't see my hand. Pack it like this, and till like it looks like everything's in order, or like it's packed right. Like